sound of big engines in the morning. Yeah, welcome back everybody. And today we're cleaning up various nooks and crannies in the Phantom because we're putting stuff back together in anticipation of testing out the electrical system and getting ready for engine runs, which means a bunch of fog checks, cleanups, and putting stuff back in their respective places. And yes, it is quite hot today, so we got the fans running and it's still quite warm. So let me show you what I got. I got my borescope camera out and I modified it slightly. Let's see if I can. So I got, I put a little piece of safety wire and taped it onto the uh, the camera head there and what I got for that is remember when we replaced that relay down here in the back I did drop one nut uh, for one of the terminals so we heard it fall and we heard it land within the door however with our efforts with the flashlight and the mirrors we couldn't find it so that's where the borescope camera comes in. Now I did see it with the camera, but I had no I had no ability to actually get to it with a tool or anything. So that's where this idea came into play. I'm gonna, it fell flat so I can hook into the, the donut hole and then pull it out of there to a place where I can actually just pick it up and grab it. So that was the one item that we did drop during that, uh, during that whole evolution. So let's get, let's get to it. Hopefully you guys can see that. Just got it. I just gotta spin the camera. Oh, that's the bolt. Oh, I lost it. Hang on. I'm gonna drive this thing. Oh man, come on, man. All right, so I've been at this for a few minutes now, and it's quite challenging to maneuver the camera into such a tight space with uh, just the flexible cable of the camera itself, while also trying to keep it in a specific orientation so that little hook can actually hook into the, the donut hole on the nut so I can drag that into a good spot so I can grab it. So, yeah, this was a bit of a challenge today. I can't get enough leverage on it. Success. Got it. That little tool came in very handy. But there's the fog out of 19. Now, as I was uh, fishing around down there, this was the only thing that I saw. So awesome. Very awesome. All right, now we move into the Wizzo's cockpit. And do the same thing, do a little fishing with the borescope camera, see if we see anything before I start running the shop back in here. Nice, let's do this. So far so good, just a little bit dirty. Yep. Looks like mostly, ah, there's one. Got a washer. that shows up for you guys there look at that got a washer and taking a peek back there I see a second one awesome there you are got one put you right there so at this point in the day, I'd been at this for a little while, as well as helping out earlier, uh, moving some wood out of the wood shop, and also dealing with a battery on a tug, which you'll see here in a few minutes. I think they're shutting the door. I wonder 
why they're shutting the door. There's two. Keep searching. We'll look behind whatever that is. Oh, that's an air reservoir for the back seat. So, just looking around, looking around. So here I think I see another washer so I'm using the hook and I'm just going to poke at it. Turns out it was nothing but I just wanted to make sure. Ah! Hey! What are you doing to me over there? <laughs> I'm kind of buried back here. No, not yet. Yeah, early, but not right away. <laughs> no, you're good. Just doing some more hook fishing. Okay. You want a fan back on or you have your favorite fan? I got your number one fan. My number one fan is keeping me cool right now. I beat a, I, I won, so I figured that was a good place to stop. There you go. Oh, with that one uh, bracket? Yeah. Well, I had another one too, but that safety wire was, was the key. Nice. Yeah. Did you get there? All right. Where did it go? Just had it. Need any tools? No, and at the moment I don't. There it is. Another piece. All right. So that's what I fished out from underneath here. I haven't found anything else. I'll do one final sweep of the borescope camera again before I run the shop back in here and clean it up and then start remounting everything. Awesome. <laughs> borescope camera sure came in super handy today. All right, so we'll do another sweep of FOD in the electronics and equipment compartment underneath door 19. Uh, before we start putting uh, some of the stuff that we pulled out back in. Uh, here's some of the assembly for the back seat. And again, same thing there. I'm going to do another sweep. I'm going to run the shop back, put the transformer rectifiers in place, and then start putting the equipment on the equipment shelf. That stuff had to come out for the AC power box to go in and give us a lot more access underneath to where we needed to be. So there's that. Still plugging away at the Kawasaki. Now we're dealing with the cooling system. Now that we got it running, we had to pull the thermostat out of this because it, uh, as we were testing the engine, it started to overheat on us and actually gave us the overheat light on the instrument panel. So that means that even though it was full of coolant, it wasn't moving the coolant up forward to the radiator. So had to pull that. And lastly, we had another dead tug. This one, the key was left on in the accessory position, so it ran down the battery. So we uh, put a placard on here, so now the key has to come out whenever anybody shuts it down. So got the battery charging. So hopefully we... Uh, that's a new battery too, so uh, kind of worried. Hopefully we didn't. Hopefully it's not completely dead. All right, everybody, that's all we got from the hangar this weekend. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.